Copy version from Saba is Kokane. I'm also JJ, and welcome back to another Clash Royale episode, everybody. Okay, I was wrong. I'm not in Saba right now, but I am from Saba. Currently, I'm in KL, and you know, I'm not gonna fail and not uh, give you guys new content. And guess what we have over the weekend? We have the Rage Challenge. Um, so. Good news guys, you don't have to see me do live battles and fail and get disappointed and be like This guy doesn't know how to play at all But you know what guys, after my... I, after my... let's see, one, two, three, four... Only four attempts, I have beaten the Rage Challenge And how did I do it? I copied someone else's deck Yes, uh, so when I first got into the challenge, I choose I thought the long bait would work, but no, it does not. A giant balloons and uh, hogs are the way to go. But I tried those decks, and I went against so many spawner decks that I had enough. I had enough, and I copied one of their decks. So I was using this deck. What was the deck? Oh, I was using I was using the Goblin Heart, um, uh, Furnace, Log, Valkyrie, Poison, uh, Elixir Pump, and my the, like to me underrated cards in the game the cannon card and the flying machine this deck was surreal the second time the first time i tried it i went 10 uh i went all the way 10 wins in but obviously i got three losses and the the, the second time i tried the deck i got all the way to 12 wins with only one loss as you can see uh, the screen there so yeah, uh, I'm about to open up the chest and show you some of the replay and have a conversation with um, with my with my aud uh, audience, uh, people who's actually watching me, and I just want to know if like how you're liking the Clash Royale channel, and maybe I'm not that entertaining, um, but I'm trying to be. You know, I need some real criticism. And somebody told me in my God of War episode that I should speak in Samahan or speak in Malay in that sense. So, kalau saya cakap Melayu, mungkin kamu uh, boleh faham sikit sama yang video Tapi susah sikit sama kalau semua explain uh, strategi untuk main Clash Royale Tapi saya, saya akan cuba, kalau kamu mau betul-betul mau saya cakap Melayu, saya okay saja Alright, so now we're gonna just open the chest, let's see what we got from the race challenge uh, From from the last, uh, for the 12 win, we get a legendary chest, I already opened that and I got a Mega Knight and I actually only need one more level to get a level 4 Mega Knight Incredible guys, incredible So now we're gonna open up the chest, let's see what we got Winner, winner, chicken dinner, 11,000 gold, that's always good uh, Zappies, really good as well Spear Goblins, good card Skeletons don't really have to up level them because they're good as they are They're just, they're just good for um, uh, just cycling and you know distracting uh, land troops Hey, I got the giant snowball, level 11 uh, Rascal, I really want them to be level 13 uh, Then we have the tombstone, all an underrated building that is good use Hey, I got the royal hogs Unfortunately guys, I do not get any legendary card But what do I get from epic? The new, the new troop that has been reworked and buffed to a whole new level, the witch So there you go guys, that's what I got Really great to have 12 wins, really feels good And that's the race challenge, it ends in a, another day or so and uh, you know what, I'm gonna play one live game for you guys But before we um, <clears throat> before we do that, I'm gonna open up the chest uh, Open up the golden chest, alright So we're gonna, we're gonna try out the deck <clears throat> We're gonna try out this deck uh, Where's the deck? Okay, we're gonna try out this deck, show you how to use it Give you one tip and then we're gonna go through some replays And have a conversation about my channel don't wanna, you know, keep you waiting on like how to use the deck. You have one day. I did it within one hour to win the 12 wins, so it's possible for you guys to do it. All right, let's get in. So the point of the deck is, oh, a bit loud. So the point of the deck is to put your well. I would put the Goblin Hut because it doesn't die right away, and because it's a rage challenge, it speeds up the elixir as well. Okay, because. Playing Knight, I'm gonna go this side. Valkyrie is definitely gonna drop down on. Yep, the Valkyrie is definitely gonna hit both the Witch and the what? He plays the Minion Horde. Have to do that. Value Town, Value Town, everybody. Yeah, she, he's getting, he's definitely getting onto my um, 
<coughs> onto my Goblin Heart, but it's still alive. So for this one, I'm gonna have to play my cannon card at the right time. I'm gonna play this side so it doesn't hit anything else. Boop, boop, boop. Going in, he has to counter that. If not, he doesn't have any counter for it. Okay, now I'm gonna go left lane. Uh, yeah, I need to be able to defend this as much as I want to put my elixir down. I cannot. I have to lock that away. Valkyrie. I have to take care of that. And boom. Alright, now I look like looks like he has nothing. Um, I should be able to put my elixir down, but I'm scared of a push, so I'm gonna have to put my flying machine down. Is that gonna put anything? Alright. It's a bit late for my uh, elixir pump, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. As I'll put this down first. He has no spell, so I'm just gonna put my elixir down. Unless he knows that I have elixir pump. Oh! I pumped at probably the worst time. Maybe the worst time. I'm gonna do this. That uh, flying machine gonna take care of that, take care of all of this. All right, so he got me. He got me. That's no joke. I still have forty seconds. I think I could recover from this. He's definitely gonna play something. Okay. Does will he play? Yep. New jump like that. I think I should be okay. Yeah, Valkyrie takes care of that. Once he does that, I will do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm still good. Yeah, I should be able to win this. I know this is cutting really close. Um, but he's going the same lane as me. He definitely has tornado down, so I have to be careful for that. But I don't think he can do anything about this. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna do that. His, uh, go his golem's gonna die. I mean, I'm cutting it really close, and he still has the minion horde as an option, but he has no spell, which is surprising. Really surprising. Can't cut going in the same lane. He's definitely gonna play the minion horde now. No, he doesn't play the minion horde. I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I don't need to play that. I'm gonna poison it out. Pressure. I'm just gonna pressure the heck. Because he will slowly chip down. Slowly it will chip down. He has no option. I know he's going in hard for that. He's gonna put my flying machine far away. Goblin Hut should be able to take care of it. All those goblins. Beautiful. Can cut take care of that. No damage. Unless he has rocket, he has no chance. Really has no chance. Going in hard. No minion horde. Ooh. As my uh, as my cannon card tank for that. Let's see what he has. Gonna go with my furnace because he might put down his minion horde. No minion horde. Okay. Just gotta play steady, guys. We might win this. Just have to cycle to my poison and should be good to go. Yep. Nothing at all he can do about this. Cycling and winning. See, uh, the good thing about this is like, you can lose a tower. Sorry, I was looking at the screen. You can lose a tower and still catch up. And as you can see, it was pretty easy. Uh, you have to stay composed uh, because you, I had 44 seconds left. I lost a tower and I didn't get any tower yet. And his tower was like uh, 500 HP. But you can do it, guys. You can if you stay composed, know where to allocate your uh, troops, your spells, and you can do it. So as you can see, that was pretty. It was a close match. I did not see the. I, I could have defended better, but that's the good thing about this deck. It's not a high Q deck. Uh, you can easily learn how to play it. Uh, luckily, most of them do not run Golem, so that's great. Uh, anyway, so now we're gonna go to the replays of my 12 wins. Uh, we're gonna go to the. This is my 10th win. So we're just gonna chat, we're just gonna play in the background and just let um, you see. So guys, you know I've been thinking about it a lot. And 
why don't we have a Malaysian Clash Royale League? I just don't hear about it. Maybe some of you can tell me out there. I am getting in talk, contact with Reaper, uh, Reaper YouTube, uh, Reaper ZH uh, YouTube. Uh, he's a Clash Royale player from Peninsula. Uh, he's a student actually, and he's. Uh, I wanted to collaborate with him, but he's a student. And that's the hard part about being a YouTuber. I feel like most of the YouTubers are students, and due to the due to the culture of Malaysia, it's bit it's uh, pretty hard to um, really make a career out of gaming or what. I mean, yes, I we have Malaysians that play Dota 2, LOL, or they've even been recruited to go outside the country to play to play for other countries because you're allowed to do that. It's not like a World Cup where you have to be from that nationality to play for the team. It's different for the gaming world. Um, maybe they should have a World Cup and um, only players from their own nationals should play. And one of those games should definitely be Clash Royale. I think Clash Royale is not getting what it deserves in Malaysia. It's getting a lot of praise in China, Korea, and America, Europe, and everywhere. But Malaysia, we don't seem to have a, a, a good exposure for it. And yeah, I, I was I was really hoping that um, like there would be more competitions. Like if you check out my first video for this channel, um, I the reason why I started it is because I never knew I was that good in Clash Royale that I could win a tournament uh, that had 40 participants. I thought I was mediocre at best, but I was wrong. And I'm very uh, I was very grateful uh, to have uh, won the tournament. And I was hoping that would be more tournament out there so I could really be sure if I'm good and I want to meet other good players as well um, I really think Clash Royale is a good game uh, yes it's frustrating when you're playing outside and you gotta rely on your mobile data and next thing you know someone calls you and then oh I lost trophies and all that and like ah. but yeah it's a, it's a good game all, all, all in all just make sure you have Wi-Fi um, yeah so uh, yep, that's my 10th win. I hope you've been checking it out, listening to me in the background, I guess. Uh, yeah, the reason why I just want to play in the background because I don't have to explain to you the gameplay. I mean, it's going a bit fast. If you think it's going a bit fast, I can slow it down. It's been well, like 12 minutes into the video. Let's see. Uh, okay, watch this one. Okay, so the next one is pretty incredible. I still beat the guy. I'm going to put only at one uh, playing it slower. I mean, in real time. Uh, this person had a boulder. I beat the boulder. It's always possible, even though they have the hardest counter to your deck. Um, going back to the conversations, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to find a way how to make Clash Royale big here in Sabah or get some real players in Malaysia or something. I mean, we do have um, a Malaysian league and it's pretty sad. I don't know if it's not possible to to get sponsors or whatsoever. Okay, the mistake with this guy right here, just, just really quick. He played the bowler too early, he didn't even assess my deck and he started playing a bowler to use as a tank. Uh, I think that was a mistake. Anyway, I just defended and I pumped up. And uh, you know where this is going once you, once you let someone pump up and don't use your spell. Uh, good thing he didn't, I mean good news that he didn't use his spell now. I think he, he missed his opportunity and he, he's, gonna, he's gonna try to lightning it later on. And be very aware to always keep your buildings apart, like far apart, because you don't want to give them value. Um, <clears throat> like so, I'm, I'm trying to bait out his lightning, so this is where I really want to know. So because I don't want to put it on the same side where I'm already getting damage. Um, yeah, so th that's one of the places you have to be aware of, to not put on the same side. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make it big in, 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 in Sabah. Uh, I know there's some Malaysian clans, uh, Sabah clans, and surprisingly our clan that was Oh, made of nothing. Suddenly, KK Zai is pretty good. We are quite well, one of the top clans, I think, in Malaysia. If not in Malaysia, in Asia. Oh, I may be wrong. Or I'm just lo really looking at the clan wars. But, uh, as a whole, our clan, now, I mean, we're open to like a certain amount of players to come in. Um, uh, yeah, and we're, we're, we welcome anyone, uh, but they have to be disciplined. I don't mean they have to take the game seriously, but at least participate and when you participate, follow through with it. Uh, I do love some members for uh, like courtesy and that's the good thing about uh, the Clash Royale community. You do see some nice people in it, although I really do disapprove of the BM even though I am um, you know, corporate of it as well because I give in to peer pressure that some people are really not the most pleasant people in 
in Clash Royale. But some say it's a strategy, I beg to differ. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I was I really want Clash Royale to be huge. Um, and hopefully someday I can make a career out of it, whether it be a commentator or a player. Uh, I did win uh, a substantial amount of money in the first tournament. Uh, but uh, after that, not, not a peep uh, of any competition around. Uh, KL, I heard there was a few. I uh, can't come because it's very inconvenient. You know, I, I may be, I'm like an entrepreneur doing YouTube on the side and all that. And it's gonna be pretty hard to like travel around a lot unless I've established myself and I'm trying to establish myself and I hope you guys recognize that I'm trying my best to put out as much Clash Royale video. Um, maybe I need to um, do some more um, you know, advertising and all that to show that I'm a real player but will people take it seriously? Ooh, well we're not sure. 50 videos in, uh, 51 videos in, 52 videos in. I'm still doing this and I'm enjoying it. I like uh, teaching people how to play better because I feel like uh, that's just me. Um, if I have a skill and I can teach people to be better at it and because they also want to be better at it, um, why not, right? Why not? Alright guys, this is going to be the last replay and we're going to call it, uh, we're going to call the video. Uh, we're going to watch this deck. So the last video, as you can see, the boulder didn't beat me. You just need to know where to place your troops to distract uh, the boulder. It's not that hard. Um, unless you play OJ's deck. OJ actually found an anti spawner deck and yeah, that was pretty epic. Alright, uh, now it's this Balloon deck. Balloon deck is actually quite hard because they, they really like kill your uh, your buildings. But we'll check it out how, how, how do I do. How did I do? Pretty thirsty. Mm, always drink water. Alright. So, um, yeah. Um, I did like that at least one comment told me that I, speak, I should speak in Malay, but unfortunately, you know, if I want to be serious and all that, it's very hard. Commentating would be fun, you know, like, uh, for example, right now, <clears throat> for example, right now, I could easily commentate, like, but I really don't know what to call those buildings. Okay, so, taru to datala. You see, I'm already jammed. I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to commentate because it's really hard enough in English. Okay, the uh, the rang, uh, lightning so punya uh, princess tower yang di kanan. Um, so, kalau dorang buat tu, saya nampak peluang saya untuk taruh uh, building uh, bangunan saya di uh, sebelah kiri. Sebab dorang uh, gunakan mungkin do do uh, uh, spell yang satu saja. Kamu boleh leak sepang, boleh taruh buildings and stack uh, taruh banyak troops. Eh sini mistake saya, saya almost uh, biarkan tu um, biarkan tu uh, lambat jack uh, pergi tower saya uh, yang sebelah kiri. Um, memang sakit, terus balun lagi uh, karena double elixir sudah lah rage challenge. Kalau rage lagi double rage lagi uh, lagi susah. Okay, it's getting really hard. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, uh, I I let him have like a, a one balloon hit, and already his like his um, his balloon was uh, rage. Okay, so here's the here's the dilemma. Uh, both towers are about the same, but you know what? I would just keep splitting damage because if you split damage, I have about a minute left. You just need to know how to allocate it. Don't take any more damage if you need to. I know I took a few more damage here, giving him the incentive to go to the left lane. Um, but if I recall, uh, he did not take any tower and he made a grave mistake here by letting my uh, uh, target onto his tower. Yes, he has a big push coming on, but I still have my Valkyrie. I don't think he needed to play the Lumberjack. I really think he could play something else. So I tried to uh, switch a route. Uh, yeah, switch it around. Uh, attack a full health tower is better, I guess, uh, because the. Um, the the least HP would have died faster. And look at that, I managed to time it in a way that <clears throat> the balloon doesn't even reach the tower or uh, is the, in the vicinity of the tower to uh, what? So, <clears throat> what happens when he has like the just put a lot of troops down uh, in the princess tower that he's trying to target and he won't even hit it. He won't. And this is what happened. He kind of lost composure, let me have the tower, 89, uh, 89, 62, 35, and boom, poison, done, game, set, JJ wins, 12 wins, and I won in my fourth try. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's all about composure and all that. Um, you just need to know how the card works and all that, and you'll be great at this game. Um, yes, a le level of cards do help you progress into the game, but you know, it, that will take time and a bit of money, but or more time. It's either you spend a bit of money and a bit of time, or uh, like no money at all, and a lot of time for you to grind to the card level you want. <laughs> So, uh, as you can see guys, my Malay wasn't that great commentating, but I will keep trying. You know what, I'll maybe invite some Malay commentators to come with me. I will, I will try to do the English side of it, and hopefully uh, you will enjoy it more if I collaborated with some Chinese Clash Royale, Malay Clash Royale, and maybe Tamil as well. Because that's what Malaysia is made of. We are made of a lot of ethnicity, if most of you uh, that don't know. We're sort of like America, we have a huge melting pot of, 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 of race here. And um, yeah, maybe I will collaborate with some Clash Royale players and hopefully, if not, I hope I will encourage some Clash Royale players from different uh, backgrounds, different cultures, di uh, different languages to, in Malaysia to help me out and grow the community here. Yes, uh, it's really crazy. I, I am also a board game enthusiast and I'm trying to find a way to bring board games. But board game is pretty much there in Malaysia. I don't know what else to help out with Malaysia's board game because it, it I mean, besides the it has the, the huge convention in Europe, uh, ASEAN. Uh, there's competitions held there and all that. I mean, I've held competition in Sabah and it's great. Everyone values it. Uh, the, the profits goes to charity and I did that. And I'm very happy to be part of that. But uh, in terms of board games, I'm not really sure where that's going yet. I am, uh, an organization will come soon. Uh, but right now, I'm trying to really think of Clash Royale or the gaming community, how to help them in Sabah. Um, yeah, with that guys, I, I think I've been running for so long. I think this is more for like a testimonial video or confession video. I think you recognize how much I can just keep going and going and going. But you know what? We're done. It's almost 1 o'clock. I gotta go. I need to eat. I haven't eaten anything at all. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Try on the deck. You have one more day to do it. I will try to post the video today. My goodness. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess that's all. Thanks guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Please hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. What do you think I should do with the video? Uh, what should I do on my next video? And so on and so on. With that guys, ciao.